Uh, we now know the name of the man killed this weekend in Zinesville. He's been identified as 23-year-old Samuel Bennett. The suspect still on the loose 36 hours after the crime that has people living in Zinesville on edge. Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler is live near Quill Run Apartments where the victim was found. Jenny. Well, of Phil and Kylie, 23-year-old Sam Bennett, he was shot and killed early Sunday morning. His body was actually found just behind me here in this retention pond just off of Rail Trail. And Zionsville Police Chief, he actually told me earlier today that this case is just so bizarre because this is supposed to be one of the safest places in town. If you see, take a look over there. This is just feet away, if you see, from the Zionsville Town Hall, giving you a better look of where we're at right now. But that's what the police chief says is so important. If this is supposed to be one of the safest places in town and this homicide happens here, he says that's why it's all the more important for you to give out some tips to help solve this crime. The normally popular rail trail in Zionsville, empty today, as the community tries to come to terms with a crime they don't see often. Murder. It's a little spooky, but I don't know. To me, it's just a pretty random event. Zionsville's a really safe community, and it's rare to have something bizarre like this happen. It's very frightening. We just don't have this, this sort of thing here. This has always been a community where you could walk. Literally, I used to walk and exercise at night. At midnight, I'd walk around town, down the alleyways, and never once worried about safety. But Zionsville Police Chief Robert Knox says that mentality will have to change as police have little to no leads and the suspect is still on the loose. You got to be vigilant and uh, aware of your surroundings. Now, I'm not saying this young man wasn't vigilant. I have no idea how this went down. But uh, that's the message. You know, you got to stay on your toes and, you know, you got to watch your six. Chief Knox says this is the town's fourth murder case since 1997 and he's determined to solve it. Evil has came to our community once again. Um, and, and, and so sad, but unfortunately, a young man lost his life. And we're going to do everything in our power to find out who did it and why. As police continue to investigate, people who use the trail are doing everything they can to stay safe. I got a cell phone all the time just because um, I don't wear headphones. So just like, I don't know, zone out on the trail and just keep looking around. Now, no word exactly yet what led up to this shooting. Also, still no suspect information at this time. If you know anything about this, you're asked to call police. We have those numbers for you on our website at wishtv.com. Live in Zionsville, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.